Hey guys, welcome back to part six of our player designer series. This time we're going to be looking at how we can perform a melee attack, very much like my character is right now, and uh, how to use that attack to kill our enemy uh, should we be close enough to do that. Okay, so let's begin. So in Stencil, what you'll need to do is uh, you'll need to, first off, you'll need to draw those extra animation uh, pictures using uh, an app such as Pisco app. And you'll need to import that into Stencil yourself. So once you've imported that, um, we're going to set up the code. Uh, name them properly, melee right, melee left, or whatever you want. And uh, let's look at how we can add the code to do that. So we're going to add an input event for our character, and it's going to be a keyboard uh, clicked event. Now, if you don't have some of these extra buttons, uh, if when I want to choose control. I have uh, quite a few buttons here. Uh, if you don't have these buttons, you can go into settings, go down to controls, and you can add any of your own controls. So. Uh, I can add another button, let's say P, and uh, just rename that. Okay, then I'll have access to the P button uh, in here as well. Okay, uh, but for now, I'm going to use A for the attack. And uh, now, because I, there's actually two different directions the character could be facing, uh, and you will recall that if you watched my previous series, we have a variable or an attribute called direction, which helps us keep track of that. So we're going to make use of that. So if we're going to go to game attribute, our direction is uh, equal to, so if our direction is right, we're going to perform a right melee attack. Otherwise, we're going to perform a left melee attack. And so to do that, we're going to switch the animation manually ourselves. So we're actually going to need four of these. And so we're going to switch this to melee right, and the other one's going to be melee left. Now, the interesting part is that uh, because we're doing everything manually ourselves, if we switch the animation to a melee attack, our character will stay like that for a long period of time. Um, so if you look at this, uh, I, what I've done is that I've made the left melee attack a little bit longer, and the right melee attack is quite uh, quick. So what we actually need to do is we need to set the melee attack uh, back to a standing animation ourselves. So I'm going to grab one more of these. Okay, I'm going to make the right melee attack faster and I'm going to make the left attack really long so you guys can really see that difference. Uh, when you're playing your game, you'll probably want them both to be quite fast. So after we attack right, we're going to stand right. After we attack left, we're going to stand left. Okay, so we put that whole thing in. I'm going to rename that as melee. Now there's one more thing that you'll need to do is this huge massive if that's going to surround the code that we formerly had for move left and right. Uh, we're going to need this if here, and I'm just going to put this on top first, and we're going to sh shove that whole thing inside here. Uh, but what it essentially says is that if we're not attacking right, or if we're not attacking left, then we can proceed to moving our character around. And um, if you don't do this, your character will be stuck in its standing animation forever. And so this allows us to actually attack, even though um, this actually does it. But uh, in a very strange way, this code prevents that from happening. I'm not going to talk about the details of that because it's really complicated. So uh, you can uh, analyze and think about that yourself, but just know you must add this code here uh, yourself. Okay, uh, a few of those pieces, I'll do this here with you guys. Is you'll need an if, you need an and, which is right in the middle, and you need two of these not equal to. Okay, and so that's looking pretty good. Okay, and then you'll need to type in melee right and left yourself. Okay, I'm not going to do the left. And uh, you'll need what's called a current animation. So do a search over here for current animation. 
and that's the first thing that pops up. Okay, so you can pop two of those into those respective parts. And you put everything together yourself. And so I'm just going to clean this up and uh, trash that. Okay, and as it turns out, actually, we're actually going to need one more of these guys. Whoops. Okay, you should be able to copy that if you do uh, a double tap. And we'll need that a little bit later, but let's test this out first. Uh, so we haven't actually done anything about killing the enemy when he's uh, performing the melee attack, but uh, we should see our character performing the melee attack uh, very similar to what I've got right now. Okay, so stencil's loading up. Very good, okay, so attacking right quite fast. Attacking left, and I had that uh, last for one second, so that's why it's lasting so long. It looks a little bit strange, but uh, that's what happens. But you also notice that you can't move your character around as, uh, when he's meleeing. Okay. Uh, and if we try to melee this character, this enemy, nothing's going to happen uh, because we haven't coded that just yet. Okay, so we're just going to die essentially when we try to punch him. Okay, final part. We're going to go into touching enemy, and this is where we're going to ask the, add the last bit of our code. We're going to do an if, and then we're going to paste that big chunk of code we had from move left and right. Okay, so I'm going to stick that in here. Okay, so we're going to say uh, if this is happening, then we can kill the last collided actor. Otherwise, we deduct health from ourselves until we die. Okay, so that extra little bit allows us, this little part allows us to kill our character and it separates it from, oh, are we attacking? If we're not attacking, then we need to subtract health. Okay, so if the, if the player is not doing anything, if he's just running around, then of course we're going to subtract health and, and push him away. All right, come on, Stencil. Okay, so I can melee, good. And so I'm gonna try to approach my enemy now and melee him. Good, he's dead. Okay, let's also try to approach him without meleeing him. Oh, wow, he just died. Okay, uh, let me just double check here. Uh, we didn't really do this properly. If he's meleeing, Oh, sorry, uh, I need to reverse this. Uh, if melee is not, if this is the melee animation, actually just, okay, let's just reverse these two things. Okay, so if we're not meleeing, then that happens. So this is actually a little bit opposite. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, first off, let's test this out. Okay, good. Health is deducted. And if we punch our character. Okay, so, so sort, of, sort of two things happening. Uh, I'm going to simplify this. So it's actually saying, if I am meleeing my character, uh, let's do a left. might make a little bit more sense. Well, so when we are meleeing our character, our enemy, sorry. Okay, if we are meleeing, then we kill that character. Otherwise, we push ourselves away. Okay, let's try that out one more time. Uh, this version should work. Uh, I just sort of reverse the two logic. Yeah, that works. And touch it. Yeah, so it actually works both ways, but uh, this current version is probably easier to understand. Whoa. Ah, okay. Let me just double check here. Um, there's one more thing I haven't spoken to you guys about, and let's just do this. That's not very good. Okay, uh, the last thing I will mention is uh, you'll want to set to what's called the collision here. And so under your character, there's a set of collisions that you can modify. This is the hitbox for uh, how big your character is when he's touching something. So you'll want to make sure you set this appropriately. 
and uh, I might go through this a little bit further in upcoming tutorials, but uh, if you guys have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll post more videos for you guys. Thank you.